easily export transparent videos with this tutorial what is good y'all it's tj puma back at it again with another tutorial of designs made simple today we're going to be covering how to export transparent videos in after effects this is a tutorial that's going to have three steps of how to do this and the first one is going to be how to export your videos in the most simple modern way you'll probably do this if you're a beginner the second one is a really underrated method that no one is talking about and the third one is my personal favorite that gives you so many options if this video helps you out please make sure to like and subscribe and let YouTube know the first Thing that you're going to want to do when you're trying to export your transparent video i have my little hey you bounty animation you're awesome yes you are and i have this like cool background so the first thing you're going to want to do is one hide the background but you're going to see that there's still like this kind of background color you're going to want to go to this button toggle transparency grid click that and what that's going to do is make whatever you export in a transparent um encoding if you decide to render out in an alpha mode so what does that mean once you have that let's make sure that the work area that you want to work in is selected so i'm just going to click my design layer and select o to get to the end frame of it and then select n to make sure that the work area is cut down to what i need it to be we're going to go overhead file export add to render queue this is the first and most modern standard method that everyone would point you to you make sure that your settings are on best highest quality and then you go to output you click the blue text and what you want to do is click format change it to quicktime and then under channels you're going to want to select rgb to rgb alpha what this does is gives you uh it takes out the alpha channel for you so that way it's basically just going to remove the black the background like any black background or any solid color background you're going to do that if you do not see this option go to format options and make sure to click your video codec make sure to click animation go ahead and change that once you hit ok next all you're going to do is select where you want to output it to so i have my example folder i'm just going to go ahead and export here yes replace it because i kind of did this already so we're going to go ahead and hit render once you select where to do it file or exists yes i would like to overwrite it and we watch the magic work all right so we're going to go ahead to our desktop open up my example folder bring that out and you're going to see that it's now an mov file exported out and it's going to be transparent i can't play it here on windows it won't let me so let's bring it in to after effects let's go ahead and drag our new mov file over into our selection go to our main comp and you know just hide the animation so if you put on the background we're going to go ahead and drag the mov file right after and there we go bounty text and it's transparent the only issue i have with this is that if we look at the if you go ahead and click on this and hover over it, you're gonna see that's 59 megabytes. And that is a lot, guys. So if you're sending that over through like, let's say email to a client, it, it's gonna add up in their storage and you know they might get mad about that or they're gonna keep that in mind next time they work with you. So you definitely wanna be careful. That's why I'm going to show you the second method on how to export a transparent video. So in, when you render, you go to export render just like how we did for the first one but instead of going to quicktime what we're going to do is go ahead and click on it our format instead of quicktime we're going to actually do png sequence this is the secret sauce uh so we're same thing rgb plus alpha but what's going to happen is when we hit okay what it's going to do is it's going to export every single frame of your video in pngs basically in flat images so when we go to this example let's do let's first off i guess make a folder let's call it you know it's my project bounty text so let's call it bounty text png sequence right and we're just going to save it in there it's going to be a lot of images guys so we're going to do render it's going to take a little while and while it's rendering 
it's going to create all those images that you can then package up and then import it back into your files all right so it's done rendering let's take a look at our new bounty tags okay so as you can see if we pull up this folder here uh, we have our new bounty text and guys it's gonna be a lot of images <laughs> it's a lot of images but don't uh, don't get scared it's a simple uh, small file file so you see the simple small file is going to be 15 megabytes 15 megabytes that's a lot better than the previous 59 or whatever we had before so all you have to do is now that we have it we're going to go ahead and copy that source we're going to do import file find the location of that folder i have it right here bounty text you're going to highlight from the top to the bottom i top click the first one scroll all the way down and hold shift and click to select all of them and right here you're going to select png sequence you're going to keep this as footage and all these settings are good we're going to import that and once you import it you have it right here so let's put that in just to see what it looks like and as you can see it's acting as one video it's a sequence and acting as one video so this is the alternative way that you can export videos as transparent this is really good for clients it helps saves down on file size so the third way to export videos transparently is going to be using media encoder and this is my absolute favorite to do when we do file and export instead of add to render queue we're going to do add to media encoder so what you do is you see it immediately pops up and what I love about this is that you have so much customization. So first, you have all of these different codecs that you can do. So we're just gonna do QuickTime. And then here's where the real magic happens. If we click this blue name, we can. there's a lot of settings to mess with. So if you're working with clients, you're going to see that you can edit all of this to your preferences or to your client's preferences. So what we're gonna do is click Apple ProRes 4444 with Alpha. Let it, let it load you can do export video and audio go ahead change the output name if you want but if you go down to video you can scroll down and this is the best thing when working with clients is that you can change all of these settings through media encoder so you can change the size if you wanted to the quality the source to mess with your um, file size and frame rates uh, you can do all of this but to make it transparent you go ahead and do eight BPC plus alpha or or the 16 version, but I stick to 8 for simplicity. So you do that, you click on use maximum render quality, hit OK, and then with this, you want to choose where you want your destination to be, just like how we did last time. You press play, it'll export, and voila, you have your transparent video. Please like and subscribe. Um, coming out with a lot more content. So let me know what you think in the comments and for now peace